Hello everybody and welcome back to a brand new episode of Niche. My name is Eros and we're currently in playing the Queen Bee Challenge and in the last episode Queen Jewel has passed away and has left her precious little gemstones um, behind and we are going to pick one of her daughters to become the next queen of our tribe and I decided to go ahead and pick Topaz. So Queen Topaz shall reign uh, with her um, tribe and she has lean body which is very good for the jungle and she also has velvet paw which i think is going to be very very nice um to go ahead and have unfortunately none of our um, creatures really match up genetically right now with their immunity genes so we are having a chance of getting sickly creatures which is just a thing that we're going to have to kind of work with and we're gonna go ahead and see if we can breed um Queen Topaz and Runt together. They get some creatures that are born with lean body and with velvet paw for now, and then we'll see how it goes from there. Um, so let's go ahead and name her Queen Topaz, and we're going to go ahead and switch her to Alpha rank, and let's go ahead and pop her in the nest right over here, and start moving Runt over this way so she can go ahead and breed with the Queen, and hopefully they can go ahead and have a baby with lean body and with velvet paw. And I think that's what both of them do have, so they do have a very high chance of getting that. So I think we can go ahead and take out Lean Body, since that is the body of choice that they can have. And I think right now we're going to go ahead and try to get in the Stinky Tail um, to go ahead and put that in there. So it makes animals smell distasteful. So we're going to try to make some stinky babies now uh, with these two. And hopefully they will have the Lean Body and... Um, there's some good eyesight too along with that. And let's see, there is a mole over this way. So let's go ahead and start moving um, our creatures to go ahead and collect some different grasses since we do have a tons and tons of food. Um, but we can go ahead and see what we can do. Kind of move out this way. I don't want to leave like these dark spots though um, in the middle of our board. And then Ruby who is the second daughter of Queen Jewel. Um, who unfortunately is a little bit sickly too. And Quartz is healthy. What's this? Warmed up. Oh, he's being warmed up. That's so cute. And then Obsidian, you can go ahead and move there. And little Malagnite, you can go ahead and move out this way a little bit. And then Pluto, uh, why don't you go ahead and move and get these berries that are over here. And then Jasper is a sickly creature, so he can come over here and take over this berry nest over this way too. And Cuckoo, you're going to pass away, buddy. Poor Cuckoo, he's been with us for a very long time. Um, but he's going to go over here to the sandy area to kind of pass his bones into the sand. And then Uran, you're going to go ahead and collect the berries that are over in this area. There we go. And then Nella, see there were some fishies in the water over here. And we're going to go ahead and see if we can go out and get them a little bit. It's a little bit hard to nav navigate in the water right now, uh, but we should be pretty okay. There are some fish over there that she can try to get. And then Star, why don't you start moving out this way a little bit as well. And let's see, do we have any more moves? We have poor little Quinn over here, kind of hanging out by herself. Oh yeah, we do have our carnivore that is over this way too that we're trying to go ahead and take down. So let's go ahead and move Quinn here because we really need all the health that we can get. And then Opal can go ahead and attack that and she was able to take that carnivore down. So that is good and nice that we were able to do that. And it brings a bunch more food to our tribe. Which is awesome. Definitely having abundance of food. But unfortunately we have the risk of having sickly creatures so let's go ahead and see if we're able to have a baby born with lead body good eyesight maybe a velvet paw and maybe a stinky tail i think that would be very beneficial and nice to have and let's see t where is t over here who is sick over here t opal oh i wonder how she got sick Maybe she was standing next to a sickly creature and unfortunately uh, got sick and the opal's sick now. Oh no. There's a cold spreading through our tribe. Oh my gosh, we're going to have to be very careful with that. Maybe whoever was over there um, unfortunately was sick too. I'm going to have to make sure that I keep in mind um, who our sickly creatures are so we do not um, get anybody sick. So let's go ahead and change their gemstones right now. Like lovely, she is a sickly creature. 
So we're gonna go ahead and change her gems to all blue. And I think we'll have all the creatures who are sick um, kind of have blue gems. Um, and Ruby's sick, so let's go ahead and change her gem to blue. And Jasper is sick as well, so let's go ahead and change his gem to blue. And T now is sick, unfortunately, so I guess we'll turn her gems to blue for now. And then who else was sick over there? Um, we had Opal, who unfortunately... Uh, wait, she doesn't have the cold anymore, though. Okay, so no more cold, but she did get a little bit... Maybe that was damage from the carnivore? I'm not too sure. Or wait, is she not... She's not sick? Oh my goodness, guys. I'm sorry. She's bleeding! We need to lick her! Oh my goodness, I just saw that and I was like, oh, she's sick, but she's not sick. Oh, we need to lick her. We don't have any creatures that are going to be able to lick right now. Oh my goodness, guys. We need to lick her. We need to lick her wounds, but we're not able to. We'll have to do that in the next turn. Unfortunately, they are going to take some more damage. But let's go ahead and see what the very first baby of Queen Topaz is going to be. And I think her naming um, system is we're going to try to name babies that start with a T name. And see how that goes. Let's go ahead and see. Ooh, my goodness. Look at that. A little baby boy. Unfortunately, is sick with double K immunity. Um, he was able to have lean body and good eyesight. Unfortunately, he is he's a sickly creature he's a sick little boy which is really sad oh my goodness so we're gonna go ahead and move the queen actually let's go ahead and have um let's see i guess we'll just move her to the nest over here and then we'll have rent kind of follow her and breed with her she was able to get pregnant which is nice and then since you are a sickly creature we're gonna start moving your gemstones to blue and it looks like we are in a bit of a drought, but I mean, <laughs> we got a lot of food. We got a lot of food, so I don't really have to worry about that right now. And then we did have a little Nella in the water. Uh, she's kind of hard to see. She's kind of like hidden away over there. Uh, but let's go ahead and see if we can... Can she not go fishing? Wait, can she not fish? Can she... Oh, she can't fish, can she? <gasps> she just kind of like follows the water. Poor Nella. She can't really hunt she can't really fish oh my goodness poor Nella she has these gills she's the only one in our tribe that has gills she's kind of just like her doing her own thing poor Nella and it looks like lovely is about to pass away she was the last daughter of Queen lovely who was from like two queens ago all right and then Ruby she is a sickly creature so I'll have to keep that in mind and then Quartz um, is not a sickly creature. All right, pop him out of the nest. And then Obsidian, you can go ahead and get these berries too. And Malagnite, you can go ahead and get the berries that are over here. And Pluto, you can go ahead and get those berries. And let's go ahead and get these right there. Looks like I'm moving around a little bit too fast. Uh, let's go ahead and move you back this way. And then Uran, you can go ahead and get this. And then move over to this area. There we go. And we're kind of just breeding up, trying to get creatures that are good for the jungle biome. So we can go ahead and move off this island. Um, but I want to get creatures that have lean body and velvet paw and stinky tail so that they will be okay. And hopefully they won't be sickly too. Let's go ahead and see what the next baby is going to be. And we have a little girl who is... She's not sick. Thank goodness. She has B enough immunity. Um, she was born with double velvet paw and lean body, and she did inherit a little bit of the um, blind eye in her inactive slot. And then for her brother, I forgot to name, but we are going to go ahead and name with the T name. So we're going to go ahead and name this little boy Terry, and we're going to go ahead and name her Tilly, right there, the first daughter of Queen Topaz. And hopefully we can have some more healthy children as well. Uh, so let's go ahead and move Queen Topaz over here and go ahead and breed. Wasn't able to breed. Uh, let's go ahead and try again. Not able to breed. There we go. And she can go ahead and pop a nest right there. And why don't we go ahead and move him kind of over here to kind of check out that area. And go ahead and get this and pour. Nella, you can't get anything. Oh my goodness, Nella. What are you good for? Absolutely nothing. Oh no. 
All right, so let's go ahead and lick our wounds of these creatures um, before we forget. There we go. And then, oh no, Opal's going to pass away very soon. And T took a little bit of damage as well. And then Quinn, why don't we move you out this way? You guys can start collecting the different foliage that is in this area. And see if we can go ahead and find any wandering creatures or maybe some more carnivores, which just seems like we're finding quite a few of those as we go ahead and go exploring. You know, have Terry pop out of the nest. And then Flint, he's kind of by yourself, aren't you? Uh, let's go ahead and start moving. Let's see. Maybe move Flint down over this way so he's not super duper by himself. Didn't really intend for him to be by himself, especially since he's not even a sickly creature. Um, then Ruby, you are sickly, so let's go ahead and change your gem to blue so we know and go ahead and let you get some of the berries that are over here. And then Quartz, you are a healthy creature, so we can go ahead and have you get that too. Obsidian, you have some very cool eyes in your eye slot, don't you, Obsidian? Uh, we can have you move over here, and then Malagnite, you can go ahead and get the different foliage over this way too. Right now we're just collecting tons and tons of materials and different types of food uh, for our tribe. Um, while we start working on getting creatures that are good for the jungle, and getting just just getting tons and tons of resources, which we are doing a great job doing so. So we're doing good at that, at least. We just need to get some of the genes um, in order so that we're able to actually survive in the jungle. But at least we'll have a lot of food. We won't starve. At least not for a while. <laughs> uh, but let's go ahead and see. Let's see. Let's do a really quick check to see if anybody... And we could go ahead and check to see if we can hear or smell anything... Uh, which I do smell some bunnies, but I'm not too absurd, like concerned about it. I'm more concerned of just trying to get some healthy creatures born with the genes that we want. Oh my goodness. Alright, so let's go ahead and see what the next baby of Queen Topaz is going to be. Hopefully healthy. And he, she did go ahead and bring the rain with her. And she was able to have Velvet Paw, and she also has Lean Body, which is very nice. And it looks like they're both getting, like they're all getting Velvet Paw. But we're going to go ahead and name her Tiggy. So there we go, little Tiggy, and we have little Tilly here, and then <laughs> we have Terry, who, he's just hanging out over here. Poor Terry, he's a, he's a sickly creature. We're going to go ahead and change his gemstones, just so we know. And then we can go ahead and pop Tilly out of the nest, and pop Topaz back in the nest, and breed with her a few times. There we go, we're able to have a baby. Go ahead and get that foliage right there. And you can go ahead and break down that nest, which I might want to use the nest in the next turn. So that might not have been the best idea, but we'll go ahead and see how that goes. And then we have creatures over here who can go ahead and start getting the different foliage over this way. There we go. Awesome. 57 different nesting materials. And then Flint, you can go ahead and collect this. And then I was starting to move you towards that way a little bit. And then a ruby, you can go ahead and collect these berries. There we go. And then we have Jasper over here. Where you can go ahead and move this way. At least there is the rain, so that's pretty good to know. And then Quartz, why don't we start moving you this way a little bit? And or actually, who are you? You're Quartz. And then Pluto, we can start moving you out this way a little bit too. Collect some of the berries on your way. And then obsidian, you can go ahead and get those two. There you go. And malagnite, uh, we can go ahead and have you go over here and kind of get like this different foliage and the berries. And then Nella, she's just hanging out, you know, just swimming in the water basically. She can't get any fish. Oh my goodness, she's just hanging out. She's just having a good old time um, in the water right now. Uh, but let's go ahead and move you over this way. And move you guys back up here. And move Star kind of back up here too. And she can start getting the foliage that is over this way too. But let's go ahead and see what the next baby, our Queen Topaz, is going to have. And hopefully a healthy baby. And let's see, we have... Ooh! Ooh! I like 
the mane and he has a stinky tail and he is a healthy creature and he has lean body and velvet paw oh my goodness he it's gonna be named timmy i really like the name timmy dog's name is timmy he's not gonna be named timmy he is very good at being a jungle creature in my opinion he has three of the very important genetics that we're trying to go for so i'm so proud of you timmy thank you for being born he has this beautiful mane and these sharp teeth oh my goodness definitely a lion definitely a lion right there oh my goodness timmy the lion i love you um but i hope you guys enjoyed this episode of niche and let me know what you guys think oh my gosh there's another carnivore we're gonna have to take care of that um in the next turn but i hope you guys enjoyed and uh let me know what you guys think down in the comments below and hopefully uh we can have some more babies just like timmy the lion who are going to be very good for the jungle biome as we continue on breeding queen topaz um uh, but thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys later bye